Hey there, uh, this is Dan Rebello with True Trade. We wanted to break down the, um, our software packages and uh, run through whether you're going to run a, a, a real money account through your bank or if you actually want to run an evaluation account um, through a prop firm. So we thought we'd that we would uh, run through the software for you and um, Brian, you want to run through the, uh, the Ripper One product? Yeah, so since our previous podcast, episode seven, um, we've made several different changes and enhancements to the products. So now we have two different versions. So we have the standard prop edition, which will only trade prop accounts. That's working for pretty much all major prop firms. For the current list of what's available, just ask your sales rep at the time you contact us. But most prop firms that work with NinjaTrader are gonna be viable for this platform. So pretty much anyone that you think of using would work. Um, so if you need to use prop, that's the version that you want. Um, we also have the pro version now which does everything the prop does, but a lot more. So the prop has th uh, three different systems, scalp, trend, and mean reversion, but the pro has six, scalp, trend, mean reversion, zones, breakouts, and reversals. Okay, so there's six systems versus three, so you get twice the firepower, twice the diversity. Um, also, the max multiplier goes up higher on the pro, but again, that changed over time, so I'm not gonna delve too deep into that in this video, but you know, when you call in, we'll tell you what the current situation is. Um, the pro also allows you to trade your own cash in addition to props. If you want to trade like your, you know, a live ninja trader account or any, any broker that connects to the platform, you can do that. Um, you can also trade certain IRAs and 401ks and whatever you want. So basically you can trade your cash, prop cash. Um, when, when using prop, you want to make sure that we're only going for half percent per day. That's where the bot's safe. So let's say for example, you had you know, uh, six 50K prop accounts, 300K in total prop capital, your average winning day going for half percent would be about $1,500, okay? But if you're trading your own cash, the capital requirements are not nearly as stringent because remember, we have to operate within the allowed drawdown that the prop accounts give you, okay? So with your own cash, as little as 5,000 at the time of this video recording can be used with a one multiplier. So you can use higher if you want to, but 5,000 is the bare minimum Liquid, liquid cash you have to have in your real money trading account to trade a one multiplier. Now, the minimum for a one multiplier for prop is 50,000. That's because with 50K, you're not actually getting you know earmarked a full 50,000. You're just being allocated the $2,500 trailing drawdown. So really your risk is 2,500, which is why the $5,000 you know, equivalent, enough for the margin and potential drawdowns um, is fine for the, cash, for the cash account. So basically you can use more leverage with cash than with prop, which sounds kind of counterintuitive, but that's the way the cookie crumbles in terms of how the risk, you know, how the risk plays out with the trailing drawdown. Because a 50k account really isn't 50k; it's the drawdown, the allowed drawdown for that 50k. So that's pretty much it in terms of the, the comparison there. So if you're a prop guy, um, if you don't have at least, you know, I would say because this is where conversation gets a little tricky because 5,000 is the bare minimum uh, per account. But if all you have is that, I'd say if you have less than like 30 liquid, you should be using prop. But there are also some advantages to prop, even if you have your own cash. So what I'd recommend typically doing is that if you have enough money uh, to trade your own cash, you want to do that. I'd also recommend that you trade prop alongside of it, in which case you purchase the pro, trade your cash on one or more accounts. Let's say you have like a, one for your LLC, one for your individual tax ID, and one for your IRA or something. So that'd be like three uh, accounts with your own cash. And then, but also you can have up to, you know, dozens potentially of additional prop accounts and get a lot more leverage there. So why make a few hundred dollars a day when you can make a few thousand dollars a day just adding prop accounts to get more leverage and more firepower? So most people that have sufficient resources are using both. So if you've got money already, use prop and your own cash. If you need to use prop only, just start out with a prop edition and then later on you can upgrade to the uh, pro and get the ability to trade the additional systems which can smooth out your equity curve and the ability to trade your own cash which will also you know, expand out that way. So that pretty much sums it up in terms of the comparison. Yeah, so just ask a question for, the, for our clients. So you know, basically with the, with the prop edition, um, that's gonna come with uh, the three feeds, correct? Yeah, three different systems. Three different systems. So and just tell them you know, what systems were those? Yeah, so like? wait, I'll kind of reiterate. So we had scalp, trend, and mean reversion. So these basically are indicative of the way, the way that system is going to trade, it's gonna use that methodology. Now remember, this bot's always in flux. So what it did yesterday, it may do something totally different today or tomorrow because we update the bot from our servers. So it's not a static algorithm. It's constantly in flux, it's constantly adapting. That's what makes it special and that's what makes it passive for you, the end user. Because any bot that's static is gonna have, you know, if, if the volatility and conditions are right for that algorithm, it'll do fine. But 
Um, if let's say you have like a Fed meeting, a news event or something, it's going to rock the boat and just derail the bot. You've all been there before. You know what I'm talking about. So our bot will either turn off. If let's say that's like there's a Fed meeting and that, that's going to affect the scalp performance, the scalp will just turn off and just stay, stay on the bench and not even get in there. But something like a breakout system or a mean reversion that's going to fade the breakouts, whatever, those could thrive in high volatility environments. So those will crank on or increase leverage. So it's constantly in flux, constantly dynamically adapting. And that's what keeps it, you know, viable. So in other words, like if you're, you pick the system, but you don't have to worry about like the appropriate time to deploy that system. So you're not know, like you're sitting there like, oh, I want, it's, it's going to be a average volatility. I'm going to, I'm going to turn on the scalp. No, you just turn them all on. Like you run the scalp 24 seven, the mean 24 seven and then the uh, uh, trend 24 seven on different accounts. So they're all running on different accounts, all running, you know, at the same time. And let's say the trend is down one day, but the scalp is up and the mean is up. Well, then you can have if two out of three are up. You have a green day, even though one was red. So you don't know what on what day which one's going to be the big winner that day. You know, they could all win. They could two two could lose. One could win big. You know, so and if with with the pro, we now have six. So not only do you have the scalp trend and mean, you also have the breakouts, uh, zones and reversals. The breakouts, obviously, like it sounds, going to chase breakouts like on the open. You know, go for big swings. Zones is going to trade different zones and reversals is going to basically you know reverse wide channels. So. And in the future, there'll be different systems as well. So we're not just stopping at six. By the time you watch this, there may be 12 or 15. Who knows? I mean, in the future, we're going to add the ability to use options, Forex, equities, everything all under one roof, all in one. Because this is not just a bot. It's portfolio management software. I want to be clear. So you're basically trading multiple different bots, you know, all in, all in one big unit. So let's say, for example, you have six different systems. Your P&L is the sum total of all those systems on that session. So if, if two are down and four are up, you're still way in the green. So if you would have just picked one of those, you could have lost money that day because you had six, you almost never lose. You know, you're, you're basically, you're, you're super, the more diversity you have, the more consistent you are and the lower the probability of having a losing day or session or even a losing hour because the more, you, the more you're spread out, the smoother that equity curve is going to be. So that's the whole point of this bot is that you're not picking what to trade or how to trade, the bot's doing that for you. So you just pick what systems you want to run, ideally all of them. And then you set the appropriate multiplier, which is the unit of risk based on the account size. Like, let's say that the uh, account A is trading the scalp and it's 50K, you want to run a multiplier of one. But account B could be using the trend, it's a 150K account, you run a multiplier of three. So it's automatically adjusting the leverage based on the account size. So you can make all these different choices. So you have still control over the exposure, what system, and you know, what size account you're using, but all the hard decisions as to what to trade, when to trade it, how to trade it on the bot. So it's so basically whether you're a veteran or a brand new person, like I'm going to get the same result that you're going to get. So if we're trading the same systems, we're going to have the same results. Like the bot is going to be if you're using it the same way, you're going to get very. I mean, there's going to be some variance with obviously slippage and fill prices and commissions and stuff like that. But sure. you know, we're all using the same system that's constantly being updated. So it's 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 always dynamically adapting and it's going to deliver the goods that way. So basically, that's pretty much a synopsis of, of the you know each one. So. To summarize, you know, where you should get in at, essentially where you fit in. So if you're a prop only customer, you don't have sufficient funds to trade your own cash, start out with the prop. If you do have your own cash and you want to do both, then get the pro and the pro, you know, trade your own cash and then trade, you know, prop accounts alongside of it for, for more leverage. And then you can also explain our quick quick fund services as well for those that who decide. Yeah. To so Okay, yeah, sure. I'll yeah. touch on that. So yeah. quick fund is essentially a product that we, it's very new. And, uh, and a lot of clients like, if you just use the bot organically, it will fund your prop account. So if you want to fund it, typically you run the bot at 1% to fund your account, half percent once you've funded, because you want to be a little bit more risk averse, because a lot of prop accounts have time deadlines where you have to hit that target before the clock runs out. So you want to use a little bit more leverage when, when aiming to get funded. But essentially, the bot will fund you typically in about two weeks uh, most of the time. Depends on what prop firm and what account size. So this is not set in stone. Like, it's not like, oh, if I run the bot up, it's going to be always seven days or always 14. But usually within about two weeks, give or take, you can, you can fund an account with the bot. Just letting it run naturally. Maybe faster. It may be slower. It depends on you know how the market's doing at that point in time. But essentially, <laughs> it's designed to, to fund you without needing quick fund. But what quick fund does is instead of taking a couple of weeks, typically we can get you funded in a couple of days. So, and that depends on the prop firm, right? If the prop firm has same day funding or if it you know allows you to fund it within three days. So depending on the rules of the prop firm being used, um, the funding time could, could differ from a couple of days to a couple of, you know, a week. So it just depends on what, what's going on here. Basically with quick fund, you pay us a set fee, which can change over time. So I'm not gonna say what the fees are for what account size on this video, but you pay a set fee and then we use a 
altered system, kind of like a turbocharged version of system to, to hit. Usually, typically four out of five days, we can hit the, we can get you funded in one day or as fast as the prof firm will allow you to get funded. So in other words, we just we if you have more cash than you have free time and you want to just get the ball rolling and get flying out of the gate, you could purchase Quick Fund and that has a money back guarantee you know, on delivery. So if we don't fund your account within whatever the whatever the guaranteed time was at the time I purchased for that account, we'll refund the Quick Fund fees. So if you just want to buy the bot, you want us to get you funded quickly, you pay a little extra and we speed that process up for you. And that's basically it. Yeah, you know, then once you're once you're funded, then you're you're well on your way. You have a PO account. What, what's our average? It's about two, three days usually. That depends on the prop firm. Like I said, I'm not mentioning any specific names here. Right. Um, but if you've traded for a while, years. you know what the big yeah. prop firms are. And like I said, you could be watching this video three years after we shot it, and the landscape may be totally different. So, yeah, whatever the – like some prop firms require you to – can do it in a day. Some you have to trade for an entire week. So as fast as we can humanly get it done, we'll get it done. That's basically it. As fast as we can safely get you funded, we will get you funded. It's going to be always, you know, exponentially faster than the bot will. And keep in mind, this is not required. It's optional. Like I said, we've got a lot of clients that are busy professionals. They got more money than time. They just want to get this. They want to get this thing flying and get it going and get it paying quick because you can't make money with an eval, obviously. So the faster you go from eval to funded, the faster you start getting cash actually in your in your hand. So, yeah, if you're one of those people that they want to get fly out of the gate, you've got more cash and you want to wait. Buy quick fund if you don't or you don't have the cash for it. Don't worry about it. Just use the bot at the appropriate percent at the time, appropriate multiplier, and it'll fund you anyways. Sounds good. Well, thank you so much for watching uh, this episode of True Trade. Um, hit the but button below to talk to either Brian or myself. We'd love to get you on the phone and and uh, consult you, uh, see if it's going to be a good fit or not. And uh, we'd love to chat with you on the phone. Take care. Talk to you soon.